hello viewers so today i'm going to teach you how you can do a round of fraction so here i have two methods to do this both methods are super easy so watch my video till end with some of the examples that i have chosen from um, upper elementary math book so let's start it let me choose the color okay so here we have an example 7 is a whole number and we have 3 over 4 so first i'm going to show you from the first method and then so whichever method you like you can follow that one okay so for the first method i'm going to draw a line now you know this this is as a whole number so 3 over 4 is must be between 7 and 8 so so once we make the line we are going to put the number okay now you have 3 over 4 so how you gonna do this one 3 over 4 4 is your denominator and 3 is your numerator so first we are going to start it from our denominator and this is numerator okay so now we need to put a line so in between 7 to 8 we have 3 over 4 so so we'll count and in between 7 and 8 we will jump like one two three and four because we have a four in a denominator so it's like from seven to eight we need a four number then let me correct it yes okay, sorry for this weird line okay now we have so just mark the point four here and now we have numerator so just count it in between seven to eight one two and three so now here is a point for the three now you have to notice that this three over four is very near to seven or eight so now you can see the gap in between 3 over 4 from 7 and 3 over 4 from 8. So this one is very nearest to 8. Right? So the answer is 8. This is the first and a very easy method. Now I'll show you the another one. 7, 3 over 4. Okay, now in this method, you need to follow something. This is the denominator. So what we will do is, we will take the half of the denominator. So half of the 4 is 2. And what you have to do, if your denominator is less than your numerator, half of your denominator is less than your numerator, then you need to add 1 to your whole number so what we will do is see you have two it's the half of your denominator so so if our numerator is greater than we greater than half of our denominator we will add one to our whole number but if our denominator is greater than our numerator then we are not going to add any number to the whole number our answer remain the same so now upon adding 7 plus 1 is equal to 8 okay let's check out the another example so we have finished this one make sure for the second method you must need to remember the rule you know so here we have 9 1 over 5 okay, so now we'll do from the first method we'll draw the line so this one in between 9 and 10 1 over 5 is in between somewhere to 9 or 10 so 1 two three 
4 and 5 and we'll mark the point so now we have a 1 in num numerator we'll count it 1 so 1 is here so now this thing is very much near to 9 and quite far from 10 to make it easy we'll mark it so now you can see the distance between 9 and 10 and 1 over 5 so it's not going to change the answer will be the 9 so now from our second method we'll take the half of the denominator now we have a 5 in a denominator so what we will do we will do division so the half of 5 is 2.5 now let me show you how we can write this one 5 divided by 2 so 2 2 is a 4 1 so for that now you will put a point 0 here now we have a 10 down so we need a 5 2 5 is a 10 so here you go So 5 is divisible by 2 and the answer is 2.5. Now this 2.5, the half of the denominator is greater than the numerator. So you remember the rule, if you have a denominator, half of denominator is greater than numerator, then you are not going to add 1. Now let's check out some more examples to make it easy for you. So here we have 5, so now we have 2 over 3, so we are going to make a line. So this number is in between somewhere 5 and 6. In denominator we have 3, so we will make a 3 times 1, 2 and 3. Make sure to mark a point. And then we have uh, 2 in numerator, 1 and 2 so now you can see the distance between 5 and 6 2 over 3 is very near to 6 rather than 5 so the answer is 6 now let's check out from another method 5 2 over 3 now the half of 3 is 1.5 so how are we gonna do this we're gonna divide it by 2 2 ones are 2 1 and then we'll put a point and a 0 here so 2 5 is a 10 so now the half of 3 is 1.5 now you can see our half of the denominator is less than our numerator so if numerator is greater than our denominator we are going to add 1 to our whole number so 5 plus 1 is 6 let's check out another example 1 2 over 4 so now this number is in between somewhere 1 and 2 so we have 4 1 2 3 and 4 now in numerator we have 2, 1 and 2. So this number is 2 over 4 is, is a half number and is exactly equal to the distance in between 1 and 2. So what we are going to do is if you have an equal distance. So remember if we have a half or more than half we are going to choose the another number. So the answer is 2. Oh my mistake I write it 1. Sorry the answer is 2. So if you have this uh, number, half of the numerator is 2. So when both of the number is equal, then you are going to add 1 plus 1 and the answer is 2. I forgot to write. So now one more example we have 6, 7 over 9. So I'll draw the line and we the number is in between somewhere 6 and 7. 
so 7 over 9 is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so here here is nine lines and then we'll repeat the seven one two three four five six and seven so here is a seven so now you can see this seven over nine is very much near to seven rather than six so the answer is seven we'll follow the another method six seven over nine so the half of uh, denominator uh, 9 is 3 so this half of 3 the half of denominator which is 3 is less than to our numerator so when our numerator is greater than denominator the half of denominator we are going to add 1 to the whole number so 6 plus 1 is 7 Now let's ch check out one more example 9 5 over 8 so same method we'll draw the line this 5 over 8 is somewhere in between 9 and 10 so we'll draw the 8 lines let's write it 9 and 10 and then we'll draw the 8 lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so now in numerator we have 5 so we'll draw the 5 times 5 just mark the point 8 so you will remember that okay now in numerator we have 5 so 1 2 3 4 and 5 so now you will see this 5 over 8 is near to 9 or 10. So this 5 over 8 is very near to 10 rather than 9. You see the distance between 9 and 5 over 1 over 5 is so it's very much near to 10. So the answer is 10. Okay, so the answer is 10 and now we will do this one with another method. So 9, 5 over 8. Same thing, the half of denominator which is 8 is 4. So now you see if we have a half of the denominator, this is exactly equal to 4. So no need to do the division. So this 4, which is half of our 8 denominator, is less than our numerator. So when denominator is less than numerator, we are going to add 1 to our whole number. So we will add a 1 to 9, is 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. So either you follow the first method or you follow the second method, your answer must be the same. So viewers, if you like my video, please do subscribe my channel, comment below, please share it with your friends and family. So thank you so much.